Okay, let's begin by introducing the supply parts and hardware. We have right side, left side crash bars, and we have a cross brace. The supplied hardware, one M8 by 30 millimeter long bolt, it's hex head bolt with washer, three M8 by 35s, again with washers, two M10 by 30s with washers, and one nylock nut. Then we have four M6 by 20 millimeter long bolts and nylock nuts and double washers. And then we also have four M8 by 20s, again with nylock nuts and double washers and two spacers. The tools we're gonna to be using, ratchet, ratchet extension, T55 Torx, T25 Torx, eight millimeter Allen socket, or you can use an Allen key, 10 and eight millimeter hex sockets, 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter, and 17 millimeter wrench or spanner. All right, first we're going to remove the bolt from down here. We have to take the cover off partially in order to gain access to one of the bolt holes. So it's a T25 Torx, back out the bolt, put it aside, remove that. You're gonna have to pull on it gently. You can see there's a, a rubber grommet. T55 Torx, remove that front mounting bolt and save that bolt. We're gonna put it back in. First the M8 by 30 through the top mounting hole. Turn that bolt a couple of times. All right, we're gonna move on to the next one and here you're gonna put the spacer on the back side. This is the shallow spacer, the lower spacer. And again, hand thread that bolt just a couple of times. One thing you're gonna to have to pay attention to is that the rear bracket has to be on the inside of the frame down here, okay? Do not put it on the outside, put it on the inside. Okay, now grab the 10 millimeter bolt, the two washers and the nylock nut, put it through and then spin on the nylock nut just a couple of times and then leave it loose. Okay, next grab that OEM bolt and put it back through. Put it in place and very gently turn it a couple of times. Make sure that it's not cross threading. Okay, now we're going to connect the upper and lower crash bars. And for this, we will use the M8 by 20s. So put it through and on the back side, hand thread the nylock nuts on top and bottom. You can leave it nice and loose on the back side washer and nylock nut. So the left side is completely on. Everything is still nice and loose, which is what we want. And now we can move on to the other side of the motorcycle. Okay, so this cable is attached down here and up here. You gotta clip the cable ties and then spin it out. Both of these uh, plastic little pins will have to come out completely. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and mount the lower right side, eight by 35 and washer. We're gonna attack the top side first. Okay, now the 10 millimeter dimer bolt and the tall spacer. Tall spacer will go in between the bracket and the engine block, like so. And again, just turn that bolt a couple of times, like so. Okay, one more bolt, lower front end. And once again, just turn that bolt a couple of times. No tools are needed at this point. Okay, we're gonna take out the the, the large OEM bolt, again, using that T55 Torx. Make sure to put the bolt aside. We're gonna put it back in. Now, put the OEM bolt through the mounting hole and then mount the right side top crash bar. Again, turn that bolt a couple of times. Okay, now we're gonna connect the top and the lower crash bars. Grab the M8 by 20s, double washers. 
So push the bolt through from the outside and on the back side, the washer and the nylock nut, both top and bottom. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and mount the cross brace. Grab the M6 bolts and the double washers and nylock nuts. Put it in place, line up those mounting holes. Push the bolt through from the outside and then on the back side, spin on the nylock nut. Don't forget the washer. It's the same steps on the other side too. Washer and then nylock nut like so. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and tighten all the bolts. Do not tighten each bolt all the way. Do not crank them. Just, just go at it gradually. Do this with all the bolts. Okay, and now the installation is complete. We recommend that you go for a test ride and then after the test ride, double check all the bolts and nuts once again. Should you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us via email info at outbackmotortech.com or you can call toll free 877-931-3636. Thanks for watching.